at noon. Now at noon, back to class, students and teachers headed back to school after a bomb threat cleared out Nicolet High School yesterday. Thanks so much again for joining us, everyone, at noon. I'm Vince Vetrano. And I'm Samara Soda. Students are in school as we speak. The 16-year-old Nicolet student who's accused of making the threat is not in custody, but his case has been referred to the DA. Students flooded back into Nicolet High School one day after a bomb threat shut down classes. After a student left a handwritten bomb threat note in a bathroom Wednesday, administrators evacuated the school and canceled classes. Some people didn't really know what was going on and people were starting rumors and stuff and it was pretty crazy. Police arrested a student they believe left the bomb threat, leaving his classmates wondering why. I don't know why he did it, so I don't know if he's just like didn't want to do something at school or just wanted school off or what, but there's really no point to it. Administrators also are not saying much about what will happen to the student who caused the school shutdown. I certainly can't uh, speak to specifics at this point. All I can say is it's a very serious matter and we'll be treating it as such. School officials are pleased with Wednesday's orderly evacuation, saying only a few complaints came from anxious parents waiting to pick up their kids at Glen Hills Middle School. Administrators say it's hard to get around that weight when it's crucial to account for all students being released. All the families wanted to get their child first and we had to manage that situation. But uh, like I said, all in all, everyone returned home safely last night. And fortunately today, things are getting back to normal. In addition, school leaders tell us they probably won't have to make that missed day up. And that leads us to our sound off question. Should the student responsible for the bomb threat, the student accused, be sent to jail? Sound off by calling 414-967-5304 or visit us on Facebook at Today's TMJ4. A day after that scare, hundreds of Milwaukee students took to the streets to